We all know about this situation. It's one of the classic plots in many horror stories. A kid is lying awake in his bed, and what keeps him up tonight is the shadowy figure on the wall. Maybe it's just a coat. Someone might have hung it up there. He can think like that, but the only problem is he doesn't remember noticing it before going to bed. You see, the real horror happens inside our head, and from now on, there could be countless possible endings for this story. You can reveal it's a ghost, a monster, a serial killer, etc. Or you can simply tell the reader that it's just a coat, hanging there for some reason that you can come up with, making it a happy ending. But for me, well, it's completely different. I'm watching him right now, and I know he's awake. Perhaps a little bit scared as well. I can tell from his movements under the blanket that he's having a hard time figuring out what he's looking at. His father's coat is the only thing protecting my body from the winter's air. Despite how cold it is, I must not move or make any sound. It's kind of ironic that I'm sure I feel much more terrified than he does. I can only hope he's not too scared that he goes and wakes his father up. Their house is just one big maze, so complicated that finding the way out seems almost impossible. And as my muscles begin to shake uncontrollably, I start to regret my decision to escape from the basement. <sighs> Poor boy will never realize what his father has done to me and the others down there. That man is the real monster in this story. And for tonight, I just want to be nothing more than his coat. <laughs>